KRO7991 here. I just want to make a quick uh, review, or not review, but showing of how I had to mount my Firefield scope, or just any 3x12 scope on the SETME. Um, I did mount it on here. Forgive me for covering up my serial numbers. It's not that I don't trust anybody. Um, here on these SETMEs, they have two little mounting plates, like a little notches. I got one of these Picatinny rails at a gun show. I vended a lot of gun shows throughout the winter as a dealer. Some other dealer cut me a deal on it. They were like 20 bucks. So I bought one. And it'll mount on the MP5. Anybody's got an MP5. But anyways, they got 3x12 scope. Um, there it is. It's a fire field. It's got the red and green radicals. Um, I'll pan in on that. And then... I just mounted it on. The one thing you do have to do with the set me is the back sight, the notch, and the dual aperture where it spins around. You can spin to four different sight placements or sight um, pictures that in the rear. That you have to pound this little roll pin out, and it'll be a little spring, and then the whole thing will come out. So I did that. That's just so you can fit the scope down. That scope is not rubbing. I mean, it fully functions the way everything should so it just it's it's up like this in the air crooked if you don't take that pin out other than that it's perfectly square on the top of the rifle so the front doesn't touch um, these firefield scopes are about $120 they, uh, they're they a pretty good deal um, yeah forget the water dripping down here um, you have the front scope cover and they, they have the front and rear ones that pop in and up the rear popping up here too. Trying to do this. There we go. Then you have your adjustment for the green and red reticles. Let me prop the gun up here. So it kind of goes through. That'll be the green reticle. Let's see if we can actually. There we go. Let's see. There it is. Something like that. And you'll have your red. And you'll be able to. Uh, there you go. And then that 30 pointer, there he is. And then you go through the different series of green, bright, that's off. And you go to your red. Same deal. And then it just goes through the different settings. And then that's off again. And it is. So you're a pretty good sight picture. Um, it has that, and then it has your standard adjustments here for your elevation, and then your windage and the horizon. It'll also have your. Um, it has this little feature here, I guess, not standard on most scopes. You take these and you twist these, and it makes this so you cannot turn it at all. I'm not adjusting the scope right now. I'm just simply twisting this little locking mechanism down, and it makes this so I can't I can't twist that. I'm trying to right now, but it won't go. So that's a safety feature on this scope. Keeps it in line. Um, when you buy these, they come with the. Uh, uh, the sc scope covers, flip up ones, which are nice. They also come with the mounting rings that fit on this standard one inch Picatinny rail. Um, pretty good deal, I thought. Really good deal, or one and a quarter this might be. But these rings came with it, sweet deal. I got the scope two days before gun deer season here in Wisconsin, where I'm at right now. And, I mean, I'm talking real good scope. So, it'll definitely be better when you drop a deer with it, but that doesn't happen oh well but highly recommended again the name is Firefield you can kind of see it there just get it good scope